Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's Tuesday, which means it's player pick day. Not only is it player pick day, but one of the best player picks that we've been doing for the past week in this game is expiring, which means a new one should be coming in. I have two questions though. Firstly, is it going to be a footies only player pick? And secondly, when's it going to be dropped? Is it going to be at the early content time or the normal content time? Regardless, this player pick that's going away and hopefully the one that's replacing it will give us our best chance at packing those elusive 99 rated cards. There's a lot to discuss today, and also FC25 leaks and ratings everywhere at the moment. A lot to talk about. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's dive into the content yesterday to start things off with what seemed like a test from EA with a player objective SBC combination that really surprised a lot of us just because of its randomness. First of all, this is the SBC that is required with the Kefrem Taram objective objective card guys it's looking like a regular upgrade pack SBC that gives you a premium gold players pack but upon further inspection you see that it requires an 88 rated squad which seems like a lot well it all makes sense when you go to the objective section and you see that this Kefrem Terem card is not just unlocked via the SBC it is unlocked by doing the SBC and then playing one game in any ultimate team game mode this was so confusing when I saw this because I was like, why do you have to play one game? It's not even like you have to play the game with a certain player in a certain game mode, complete any certain challenges. It's just do this random 88 rated squad and then play one game and you get yourself kept from Taram's 97 rated transferred to Juve card really really random like the only way i can kind of describe it and think about it is maybe ea is testing something so that you can't just do the sbc on the web app or companion app only and you have to actually play a game to get the card but that doesn't even make sense i don't know it seems really weird anyways this taram card we know he's always op right but it is a transfer card fits the motto the preseason promo there's one thing that's a problem though it's a play style pluses flare plus ain't gonna cut it at this stage of the game if this card had maybe let's say intercept or anticipate he needs some defensive play styles for sure. Um, he would be really cracked. Apart from that, this card's a beast as always. We know Kefram Taram is a beast in game. So really the most interesting part about this card is the fact that you have to do an objective and an SBC to get the item and it's not just a regular player SBC. So that's all that there is really to the cat from Taram. If you want to get it done, go ahead and do it. If you're a Juve fan, you're happy. Now to the icon SBC section where we had our other player SBC yesterday, we had Patrick Vieira, another greats of the game card. But guys, five squads for this Vieira. When I was on stream looking at the requirements, I almost just was like so shocked to see how cheap this Vieira is. Now I know Vieira is really cheap on the market. He's literally 80 80k now he was 200k yesterday when this SBC dropped but like this SBC is cheaper than free like it's literally nothing I bet all of us could go ahead right now and complete this from our clubs if you haven't packed a Vieira already but that's kind of the problem right the same reason why I'm not doing Pele and not doing Cruyff I packed Cruyff yesterday I packed Vieira yesterday I literally said when I saw this SBC I'm not going to do this because I'll probably pack him two hours later, 84 times 10, boom, there's 97 Vieira. I'm sure you guys have already packed him, most of you have, but if you haven't and you're an Arsenal fan, this SBC is very nice. Now, I do want to point out that this was leaked yesterday before content, of course, We've had a lot of FC25 ratings leaked, and that's been the whole conversation on Twitter slash X of the last two days. But this was actually leaked before content yesterday by FIFA Trading Romania. So we'll see if there's more leaks again today. There's a lot of more great to the game icons that we're still hoping to see via SBCs. And of course, a lot more transferred players. And I bet we get a player SBC today. The question is... Who is it going to be? Now, there also was player picks dropped yesterday as well. I feel like they're not as hyped, of course, because we have the 84 times 10 that is unlimited that everybody is doing anyways. But the 82 plus player pick was re-released, re-upped, re-entered. Same requirements, same 82 plus player pick. I've actually heard a couple people say that these are kind of fun to do. If you just like opening player picks instead of packs for some reason, these are really cracked because of, you know, everything that's in packs at the moment. So if you want to give it a shot, go Go ahead and do some 82 plus player picks the player pick i would recommend doing is the 86 plus pick and as you can see it's going to be refreshing here in just a couple of hours at the 
early content drop along with the 85 times 10. This is actually really nice because it's just an 85 rated squad and I find it nice to have something else to put my fodder into when I'm tired of putting my extra 84s and 85s into the 84 times 10. So I know we're doing so many of those, but the 86 plus pick is actually a kind of a nice break from that. So I really don't have an issue with that. I know some people are annoyed with the requirement. It's just a nice extra player pick to kind of coincide with this grind right here. Patrick packing a French hero striker pop in should have guessed. We're still loving the 84 and the 85 times 10 grind today, guys. Uh, we did hit some big cards yesterday. I'm going to be continually uploading the chase for the 99 rated cards. We packed another 99 yesterday as well on my account. I'm going to be uploading that progress so you can follow along on the second channel. I'll link that above right here. So make sure you can go and check that out because we've got a couple 99s, but we need to keep getting more. I know I've gone last week, so I missed out on some of that time to grind. We're catching up this week and packing all the big boys. So that's going to be fun. And we're kind of going over that and doing that over there. Now to the serious business, like we mentioned in the intro, guys, today's a Tuesday, which Tuesday means gamble Tuesday. It's been that way for the past couple of months on this game. Every single Tuesday, we get another sort of player pick or pack SBC. And this one should be no different. The 94 plus player pick, just to overview this player pick right here. This is one that I've looked forward to doing every single day of the last couple of days after coming back from holiday because it gives you the chance at 99 rated cards some of them that aren't even in the best of re-release that are in packs right now we're talking about players like 99 virgil van dyke 99 verts 99 depaul pedri and other footies cards that aren't in packs right now like 99 who's not in packs salah hyunmin sun those are cards that are packable from this 94 plus even ptgs like griezmann sane Kamavinga, those are packable from this player pick that are nowhere else packable in this game. So this player pick kind of have some dis different value to it. Like it's it's just interesting. And that's why I've been doing it every single day. It's really the best shot at getting 99s right now in this game from a specific player pick. Now the question is, it's going away. What is EA going to replace it with? Because it's Gamble Tuesday, it's player pick. It's going to be changed or brought back in some way today, right? My hope is that they make this a 95 plus pick. Now, would that change a whole lot of it? Probably not. They could maybe make it a 91 and a 91 squad, maybe make it a smidge more expensive. I really think there's two ways that EA go with this. Number one is they release this player pick and make it a 95 plus and just move the rating up or they could go for an all footies player pick. Now, the only reservation I have about talking about a footies only player pick is we still have this footies guaranteed upgrade that is here. And it seems to be like Tuesdays, we get a gamble player pick with a lot of the cards included. And then on Wednesdays, we get that footies guarantee that happened throughout footies. It was the guaranteed footies packs or mostly guaranteed footies packs on the Wednesdays. So that might be something that comes tomorrow. We'll be watching that very closely. Is it still too early for a footies only player pick? Like that was one of the SBCs that we enjoyed so much last year at the end of the FIFA 23 cycle was this 94 plus footies player pick, which was a one of four. And it gave you a chance at any of the footies cards from teams one through six. There were six teams last year course only five this year so the hope would be that there would be an unlimited footies 94 plus player pick this year as well it would be unlimited grindable maybe it would include the icons heroes and all the other footies cards that have been released in packs so far too but it almost seems a little bit too early for that in a sense so that's why i'm guessing that today's player pick is going to be a 95 plus the worst case scenario is they just re-release the 94 plus make no changes to it and maybe allow us to do it a couple more times in a day I hope that's not what they do. Um, I guess it is possible though, but I think they do that. There is a shout. Maybe you could say they could keep it a 94 plus and make it a one of five instead of a one of four. But guys, we've already seen, they do not like to add the extra slot, especially for a cheap price. The 93 plus unlimited icon pick was what an 89 and a 90 squad. And the 93 plus that added that extra slot is a 91 and a 92 big price difference between the unlimited repeatable one which is a one of three and the new one sorry 89 and a 91 is what that one is and then this one's a 91 and 92 just for that extra slot they really charge a lot of fodder and a lot of extra grind and a lot of higher rated players to get that extra slot in there so a one of five player pick which ea has not been wanting to do how many one of five player picks have we had this year not very many besides like rivals reward picks 
champs reward picks and stuff like that. Like it's time for the one of fives EA and this would be a perfect place to input it. So we will see if they do that, but I really think it's either going to be a 95 plus today or it's going to be just the same re-release 94 plus. And I have hopes of a footies guaranteed but it's probably not coming just yet. But that's really going to give us our best chance of packing those 99 rated cards. Because again, like I mentioned right now, whether you're chasing, a lot of people are chasing 99 VVD and 99 even DePaul. Like some of those players that are non-footies, but you can't pack them anywhere else except for the 94 plus or the 92 plus player pick. So, you know, the 84 10 and the 85 times 10 grind is nice, but having one of those player picks like the 94 plus gives us a lot of great chances to pack insane players this is darwin nunez uh like see you know 84 tens are all fun and dandy but then you get a pack like that and you're like what the heck man all right yeah just good fodder so like let me put that into a 94 plus pick or if they made the 94 plus pick today unlimited repeatable that would be pretty crazy we would actually be down for that that's the one caveat i'll say to the situation if they made the 94 plus pick unlimited which even that seems too good to be true because we still have the 92 plus yeah, we'll see. But we're going to get a big player pick today because it's Gamble Tuesday and it always goes around like that. Now, also, player SBCs, those are dropping every single day. The question is, are we going to get another greats of the game player? Like, you know, we've had the Vieira, we've had the Rivaldo, we've had the Cruyff in the last few days. Are they going to go that route? We still have players like R9, probably not on a Wednesday or a Tuesday. They're going to drop this card, probably more of a Friday, Saturday, Sunday type SBC. But as a Don, maybe, maybe a Hullet. Still a couple of other players in there like Henri they could put as an SBC as well on the lower end. If they're going to put Vieira as an SBC, they could absolutely release Henri. I mean, he's only 85k. Maybe he's too cheap for them. Holitz now 700,000 coins and dropping. Some of the cards that aren't in packs like Roberto Carlos, they might even release him as an SBC just because they're like, oh, he's not in packs right now, so we could release him. Or maybe even Mateus as well. Those are the types of players that I could see them putting out as a great to the game SBC. Would that be hype? Maybe for a few people, but it wouldn't be the most insane. But really what we're looking for too is more of those transferred player SBCs. Like the Julian Alvarez like is sick. Like this is a really, really sick card because of the transfer. Of course, we've seen his FC 25 rating. Looks like a nuts card as well. So we love that. There's so many transfers that have happened, guys. So Lanky, Delict, Olise, Xerxy, like... Those are the types of players that I think I'm really wanting to see more now that we're almost to September and really in the preseason promo and out of footies. Bring me some of those cards. That's what I'm wanting to see. So we have no leaks. But again, I will mention that the Vieira SBC was leaked yesterday before content. So whoever the player SBC today is might be leaked before content as well. So that's something to watch out for. We'll get a player SBC. We just don't know who it is. But give us a player, not an icon, a real player transferred SBC. That's what we'd be down for. Would it be maybe a 99? Because those are safe again for the Friday, Saturday, Sundays. But something nice would be fun. We're really about the big boy player pick today, though, for sure. Last thing is, yeah, you know, you can look out for an evolution drop today as well. I think Tuesdays have given us some Evos as well. But Evos are just kind of really far behind the hype curve of the pack grind and everything else that is going on in the other parts of the menus now last thing i want to cover today is we got to say a few words about the leaks the ratings official leaked ratings on fc25 yesterday the whole entire database was opened up guys we've got teams and pages and like basically all of the ratings for fc25 in the database are released now it's a little bit annoying being 100 percent honest because the only way you can look at all of the players is using this foot scoreboard app which is very full of ads and it's very annoying to click through and it doesn't give you like an image of the players it's honestly better just to go through twitter and look through a bunch of these posts um, and look at a bunch of the ratings in that way because a lot of them are being tweeted out i've been tweeting out a lot of the interesting ratings that i've seen some of the things that i've learned from looking through some of these ratings and stuff like that that's kind of the best way to continue to look at some of these i do want to do another video like deep diving into all the big teams which were, it's kind of fun when they're organized by club like this, like the PSG cards, you see a couple of bangers in there. You know, you look at some of the Man U ratings, you look at Milan ratings, Pulisic is a five-star weak foot, got an 83 rated boost, really excited for that one. So that's taken all the excitement right now, especially for the ratings and everything that's upcoming with the leaks and all of that. Still, it baffles me that these ratings are coming out so early. It is August 27th, and we have the whole entire database at our fingertips. Like, usually this is not until the second week of September that we have this sort of information, but it is 
early this year and it is all out so that's kind of the big news at the moment that is going around. Again, that's the Foot Scoreboard app. You can download if you want to go ahead and do that. Or if you're just like, nah, I'll just click around on Twitter and X. I think that's a very good alternative thing to do as well to see a lot of those elite cards. Should I mean, there's still going to be a lot of posts about the ratings for sure, but it's kind of like the big boom has happened of all the information and it might slow down a little bit from here. But I think I do want to go through another video because there's just so many different cards like this is one of the biggest downgrades look Goretzka might was it minus seven or minus eight pace for him huge downgrade in the pace category and then one of the cards that I actually just tweeted about uh was Conte because Conte got a downgrade from an 86 to an 85 but he actually got an upgrade he got plus seven pace and plus one physical like that's the best downgrade I've ever seen this is one of the most usable Conte cards after last year's Conte looked so mid so big ups to EA for that one I guess kind of the same thing as the Bernardo Silva upgrade that we've looked at and talked about but that's kind of the video for today, guys. It's the FC25 leaks and everything that's going around. But then, of course, the daily grind, the daily craft of everything on this game. I just finished the crafting upgrade objective. That was a big spam of packs, or that this is a big spam of packs that I have to open. We're going to open them today on stream, though, because I was just doing this, skipping through some of these 80-plus times threes, and I got a duplicate Hullet, which was one of the players that I packed yesterday. So... I don't want to skip through too many of these off stream because it'd be way more fun to pack something big with you guys on stream than off stream. So we're going to save the rest. We'll do one more, but we'll save the rest of these for tomorrow on Shrum. Hit our 85 times 10s, 86 plus picks and all of the good grind and chase after more of those 99s, which again, if you want to check out our chase, we did pack another one yesterday on the account and a couple of other banger icons. That link will be right up here on the second channel link also down below in the description but that's going to be the video for me today guys have a great tuesday let me know what fc25 ratings you're the most interested in and what 99 rated cards you would want to pack today out of a new gamble player pick if you enjoy the vid drop a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any other questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan account see you guys in the stream today peace out